Hello and welcome back to Larry's Furries, where you learn about animals and learn how to pronounce your teacher's name. So, the, the big holiday this week, of course, is uh, Eid, the, the Muslim celebration of the end of the uh, holy month of Ramadan. So, for those of, y of you who are observing that holiday, uh, have, a, well, have a great holiday and I'll see, I'll see you back when you return to school. Uh, for those, but, it, but in any event, uh, this is not really a holiday that I can do a Larry's Furries feature about because I've, I've investigated it and there is really no animal connection. So, in, for, for a theme, I decided instead to harken back to this past weekend, which was, of course, Mother's Day. Now, what? Motherhood, of course, is common to a whole lot of uh, different animal species, uh, including, of course, humans, very, very distinctively. However, there's an, there is another animal that also is, has, is uh, interestingly maternal that, that, I do, that I do think would make a good feature. So, let's, let's look at that. Kingdom Animalia. It is, of course, an animal. Yeah. Well, you know, plants don't have uh, mothers as we think of them, although they do reproduce sexually. Phylum Chordata. We are dealing with we are dealing with vertebrates because, because uh, those those are the ones that are most likely to have the kind of behaviors that are interesting to us today. Class Malia mammals. It, for the most importantly, animals are the, are the what are the animals that that give birth to a live to live offspring. Usually, there's a few egg laying mammals, but most of them have live births, and uh, the ma and all mammals produce milk to feed their offspring, which by definition makes them a lot more maternal than anything else. Uh, so this time we're looking into order primates, one of the few taxonomic terms which is, where we just use the English word rather, rather, rather than a scientific uh, Latin or Greek. Well, I mean, of course, primate is ultimately derived from Latin and primus uh, first, but so primates are not the are not of course the first animals, but. They're the ones that are most like us, uh, so they're most important to us in, in a sense. <laughs> and, and in this case, we're looking at the ones that are really most like us, family Hominidae, the great apes, which, inc which include gorillas, uh, chimpanzees, orangutans, and of course, humans. This time in particular, we are looking at orangutan, Pongo pygmaeus. The Bornean orangutan. And here it is. Well, this picture is, of course, a zoo, a zoo shot because they don't have, you know, you don't have ropes in the nat in the natural habitat. But orang orangutans are hot, one to one point seven meters, three point three to five point six feet tall. They, so notice, notice here the, the distinction between mass and weight. The orangutans have a mass of 30 to 100 kilograms, which means they weigh 66 to 220 pounds, because pound is a weight unit that, that, rather than a mass unit. In metric, the, the weight unit would be newtons, and we'd be saying that, a, that they weigh about 300 to 1,000 newtons, because they're on, because Orangutans, of course, are all on Earth and thus subject to Earth gravity of about ten, of about ten meters per second per second. Uh, eighth graders, we we are currently discussing that kind of thing now, which is why I brought it up. <laughs> anyway, orangutans are omnivorous, mo mostly vegetarian. Uh, the, you know, some of the other great apes uh, depend a lot more on meat, but they are still omnivores, so they. So, in addition to your typical animal, your typical plant products, fruit, flowers, seeds, some leaves and bark, but of course, primate, 
primates are not are not really herbivores. They can't get nutrition from uh, from generic plant parts the way the way the way that that more specialized animals can. They need to uh, stick to the more digestible chunks of plant, and they can supplement the diet with eggs, insects, honey. They will some they will sometimes eat meat, but they're not nearly as big on that as say gorillas or humans are. And of course, the 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 size figures in the species are sex linked, uh, so the, so of those height and weight scales, the big the bigger ha about half of the of the uh, of the scale is all the male individuals. The females are the smaller half. Oh, orangutans have a bunch of interesting abilities. They are tool users. So this. This picture is another is another zoo photo, but they, but they do they do use tools in the wild as well. They obviously tool it, as far as tool use goes, tools to collect food, like in the picture, are a very, are a very important instance. But they but they've also been spotted using tools for other things. So notably, for instance, orangutans are one of the few species that uses toilet paper. Yep, that is. They use they use leaves to to wipe poop off of their butts. Uh, orangutans also have a no, notable capacity for sophisticated thinking in other ways. Uh, they they have they have uh, capabilities for abstract thought and communication. There's been a lot of uh, study of. Uh, in, of uh, intel various intelligence testing in all of the great apes, and including orangutans. Uh, there's also been some observations in the wild of some sophisticated communication abilities. For example, the orangutans can notably commu communicate about things that are not immediately present in front of them. So when you have a mo when you have a mother orangutan walking around with a baby, and she she spots danger. Instead of sounding an alarm immediately, she remains silent, so that, so that the, in the hopes that the, that the threat will not notice her. And then after the threat, uh, you know, passes her by and is no longer present and visible, then the mother so sounds an, an alarm call. Basic, you know, we we believe this is intended to educate educate the child, you know. Hey kid, that was that was a tiger that just passed by. When you see one of those in the future, it Avoid it because it could eat you. <laughs> so, so orangutans have some sophistic sophisticated cognitive abilities, communication, and of course motherhood, and, which is why they're featured for Mother's Day. So, orangutans as mothers. So first off, with orangutans, the females do the work of rearing the children. So, the, so there's no. There's not sharing like the, of responsibility the, the way there is in the various other animal species. For, for orangutan kids, it's all mommy all the time. And, and they need a lot of mothering. Or, or young orangutans are going to be completely helpless for their first two years of life. And they're going to be continue, continuing to nurse for mommy until, until they get it, reach ad, adolescence. So... That's four to eight total years of nursing before before they're completely weaned and on their own. What, one of the longest stre stretches in any animal, you know, even even humans for for example. Although although we we live with our parents lot for much longer than eight years, we're not typically breastfeeding for that long. You we're only typically breastfeeding for one year or so. Orangutan mothers have only one child at a time. The gestation is comparable to humans, about nine months. And they, once the, once the orangutan has, has a kid, she devotes her time to raising the kid. She's not she is not made again to become to become pregnant until the until the child is no longer with her. So it don't until it, it grows up and becomes an adult, or, or it it dies and. Yeah, that that ends the the motherhood. 
So that means that a, a, a female orangutan can go as long as six to nine years between pregnancies, which is the longest interval of any species, really. And so that means that we have a very slow reproductive rate. And that, combined with other factors, means that we have a critically endangered species. Actually, three of them. There are three species of orangutan. They are all critically endangered. And so, first look at the habitat map here. You notice that this is, that this is a very zoomed-in map, probably the smallest scale piece of the Earth I've, actually, I've ever shown you in a lady's furries. So this is a chunk of Indonesia here. So we got, we got, we have two two major islands, Borneo and Sumatra. Borneo on the right, Sumatra on the left, and you see, and you see the uh, habitat markings. So that's all the orangutans in the in the world. Three three species in these in these two islands. So yeah, very little habitat, and habitat loss is another major problem for them. Defor deforestation for, hu for human agriculture, big, big problem. Uh, hunt hunting is still, still somewhat of a, of a problem, not nearly as bad as it, wa as it once was. Uh, there's, there's enough conservation that people are no longer hunting orangutans for sport, but there's but there's you, you still have uh, some farmers who who will illegally uh, you know, uh, hunt a, hunt orangutans thinking that they might be pests interfering with their farming operation and of course uh, climate change is also is also a potential worry because uh, the because the these are islands which are climates that are fairly likely to be affected by climate change, rising sea levels, and rainfall shifts, and th those kinds of problems. So that's, that's in the future, really, but the, out the outlook for orangutans is not great. You know, the Bornean orang orangutan is the best species off, and we're t there we're talking total population of like maybe 20, 30,000. The, the other two species are even worse and danger than that. Uh, the the uh, you know the smallest population group the species marked in red there is we're talking population in, in the hundreds very likely to go extinct so so that's depressing news I'm sorry to end on that note so let's see okay. So let's go back, go back and focus on motherhood. Much, much more, much more uplifting image to to leave you on. Okay. So, information sources, wait, Wikipedia mostly for this one. The, the fo photos are the ones that were up uploaded there under pu suitable public licenses. <laughs> All right. So have a have a have a have a great week. Enjoy. Enjoy your holiday, those those of you who are celebrating this week. The rest, the rest of you, if you forget, if you forgot to to wish your mother your mothers a happy Mother's Day this past Sunday, or make sure to pass on pass on your belated wishes now and have a great day. <laughs>